Hey, hey, hey. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome back, folks. Carlos here from BitConnect. Today we're talking about Magic 30th. I know I lied to you again. I said we were moving on from Magic 30th, but guess what? You pulled up to the stoplight, you looked to your left, you saw that cute girl in the car, and you went, son of a bitch, I'm in. When that light turns green, I'm going for it. I know, I, I know. You said you're moving on, but you, you just went right back. I know. In the ride home, you felt guilty. But for those four seconds, you were free. So ladies and gentlemen, today, we're going to address the next thing that people I had some uh, interesting little trickles flying through the basement here before I put my uh, sham wow to work. And that is, Rudy, have you heard the news? I said, no, I haven't heard the news. Well, now, Magic 30th is the next summer magic. And I said, well, well, it will tickle my buttercup. I said, really? Magic 30th is the next summer magic. It is so rare. It is the next summer magic. We're talking, you should be paying big money for commons, lands, everything. It is rare like summer magic. It is the modern day summer magic. What do you think, Rudy? And I said, well, that's funny. That's a funny topic. Because summer magic is still the most scammiest, controlled, supplied, piece of shit section of the magic world. And if you, the people who like summer magic, I honestly think you should expand your summer magic collection to Magic 30. I think that's a great match made in heaven. You two can prancercise to the valley of the shadow of cardboard. And if you don't see anything wrong with that, or if you're not informed of the world of summer magic, I'm going to give you guys a, a, little, uh, a little pro tip. Since I'm not a pro, I'm a guy with the same shirt. I haven't washed a shirt since 2018. And um, let me give you a pro tip. Uh, if you buy into Summer Magic, or the same thing about it, you're buying into a highly controlled, throttled, supply, manipulated, pricing, supply, demand, the most corrupt section of Magic the Gathering's history. And um, maybe you'll enjoy your stay. I heard they give you a gift bag on the way out as they slap you across the face and Chuck Norris has dinner with your wife. And if that's something you enjoy, I, I, I can't fault you. Sometimes you got to buckle up, Buttercup, and enjoy the vision. And I'm going to tell you all right now, if you think Magic 30th is the next summer magic, I'm going to give you a real big shocker. You're probably right. You're probably right. You know why? Because it has the same characteristics. Low supply, but there's more than you think. The supply is not allowed to come to market, except very slowly over a long period of time. The amount of people who want summer magic is very low. It's just like the amount of people who want Magic 30th. So for people saying, Rudy, this is all BS, it's not Summer Magic, I actually would like to stand corrected. I'm going to literally lift my shorts back up, stand to the left right here, and I'm going to tell you all, well, I think Magic 30th could be the next Summer Magic. It possesses all the same corrupted attributes, the same type of drama, and the same type of allure of a very tainted product. And um, if that's something that interests you, I'm pulling for you. I really am. You know, if, if you have a big lunch meeting with corporate America, and before you go to that big meeting, you hit Taco Bell, and you get the party pack, and you think you're going to sit through that meeting without having problems, I'm pulling for you. It's the same concept. So, to surprise people, is Summer Magic like Magic 30th? I actually think it is. It's undesirable manipulated. Most of the supply is slowly dripped to the market. There's a ton of it in the back room that you're not allowed to see. And it's supposed to be special and you're supposed to overpay for it. I, I think that's all I'm allowed to say. I'm, I think I'm supposed to go. I'm supposed to cut off the video now. So uh, I think we're going to cut this video off.